Hi, I'm Tim Carter, the new owner of the Tools in Action channel, and I know you're a little confused. It doesn't make sense. Hang on. This is the problem. Let me read this to you. I just got this yesterday from YouTube. Dear Mr. Carter, we're reaching out to you to inform you that you're now the new administrator and owner of the Tools in Action YouTube channel, and it's now fully under your control. This action is a result of a recent audit of all home improvement channels. YouTube is improving the user experience and our review of the Tools in Action channel determined the past owners, Dan and Eric, don't possess the needed skills and experience to meet our new stringent minimum guidelines for video creators. With your decades of field experience and with power and hand tools, you are exactly what we're looking for when it comes to creative talent in the YouTube ecosystem. We know you'll bring a new level of credibility and integrity to the Tools in Action channel that Dan and Eric can only hope to achieve should they decide to move to a new video platform. If you have any questions about this matter, please contact us using the above case number. Sincerely, the YouTube team. I'm not making this stuff up. All right, so the first thing we're going to change is that cheesy garage scene and set they had. To heck with that. We're on a professional set here, and you're going to see some really great new videos coming up of how to use power tools. Because you know what? Uh, I did it for 20 years, and Dan and Eric, I mean, come on. You guys, you did know that, didn't you? I mean, you guys realized that, that I mean, really, that... <laughs> They're not, they don't, they never really were contractors and stuff per se. So, anyway, I don't want to beat up on them. You know what? That, that's not fair. Look, all I can tell you is lots of great videos coming up here on Tools in Action. So stay tuned and I'm going to rock your world. I'm Tim Carter for Tools in Action. If you want to discover more home improvement tips, go to askthebuilder.com.